All right, time is up, time is up. So let's see how people redesign the fridge. Conversation's done, let's see. Now, this is the part where people expect me to say, oh, who wants to raise their hands? No, that doesn't happen. We just choose at random. And let me tell you, we choose people who are avoiding eye contact, who are hiding. Like, yeah, you. You, ma'am, you're avoiding eye contact. Tell me, what is your product? How would you help people in rural India? It's a fridge shared between uh, four families or, or okay. four houses mm -hmm. or more than... All right. So, dear, instead of buying a fridge, this entire neighborhood, all of you pool together, buy one fridge and share it. Okay, interesting concept. Uh, it doesn't solve the electricity issue, but it does kind of start to attack the, uh, the cost issue uh, and the space challenges. The only question is where would, would they put the fridge? Would it be in someone's house? Would it move from house to house? I don't know, but they, they could decide. <laughs> in the middle, yeah? So everyone, everyone walks by, I wonder what, what's in the menu today. I find my food disappearing from my desk, let alone in the middle of. <laughs> Any other ideas? Okay. Can you pass the microphone behind you? Uh, I think we're looking at two things here. First of all, it has to be cost effective, the hardware itself. So you're looking at something uh, below $100. Uh, because anything beyond that, I mean, even that is not affordable by most of the people living below poverty line in India. But something below $100 would do it. And second thing, you have to make it in a way that it can preserve the food for longer periods because there will be electricity cuts and also something that works for, for that. I think these are the two things we're looking at and a combination would, would work. What is that combination? <laughs> you, you, you rephrase the problem with, in a very nice way, I have to say, I'm impressed. You should be a consultant. <laughs> You're actually making a smaller fridge. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, I mean, I cannot really get into the technicalities. I wouldn't know that. But something that helps people, uh, I mean, something, maybe you have batteries inside that can probably keep the fridge going on during the hours when, when you don't have, uh, when you have power cuts and all. But something that could keep the fridge running and could preserve the food for longer periods, it has to be smaller. And uh, you have to look at the design. I don't think it can be... Uh, a regular conventional fridge where you open the door from front. So uh, deep freezers, they are usually, uh, uh, yes, you open them this way, yes. So they, they are actually, I think that kind of a design would, would probably be, be, would work here. Okay. We have one more idea. Oh, two more ideas. Okay. You got volunteers. We think of providing uh, an oxygen-free containers with a, and they could be salted also, so to preserve the food. <laughs> so this could be a good idea because it doesn't need electricity and it doesn't need, and that will cut the cost. Okay, interesting. New kinds of packaging. Avoid the energy altogether. Very fascinating. Uh, okay, uh, we can have a centralized uh, refugee or like a cold wall and you can rent it as lockers. So rooms, yes, yes, and centralized in each district or in each small city town. Okay, it's interesting. It requires kind of a governmental intervention, but it would get the efficiency way up there. Some people here feel secure because they're in the other side of this wall and they're sitting in the back. You, ma'am, what do you think? ممكن نحن نعمل فان فانات مزودة بالثلاجات قد لقى للأحياء بتكون هاي الفانات تحمل شعر طبعا الشعر وهيك وبتكون بتحفظ الأطعمة وبتوزعها بشكل طازج سيمبل نو اتس الفان هي اللي بتبيع الأكل آه خلص طازج ما هي محفوظ خالص أنت بس عليك تشتري وبس لا تخزن الأكل خلص اوكي ذاتس ات 
Okay, interesting. We find people kind of cutting the whole middleman out of the equation. No need for a fridge. I think, uh, I think you guys uh, would, uh, would scare Godridge because Godridge wants to sell something. <laughs> you guys are like, no, no, no need for a fridge at all. Very well done. So let's show you what Godridge actually did. You have sound, audio. I have it connected. A country where water also causes food producing gas to spoil. How did you submit this a large number was identified in 2006. And as they say, where there is a need, there is an innovation. In a country where 80% of the people have no access to simple refrigeration, a concept so ordinary in today's urban homes, Goldrich introduced Chotu Pool. A low cost, low energy refrigerator to provide the comfort of cooling to the sun scorched households of rural India. We started understanding non consumers, basically people who are non users of refrigerator. And started understanding their life, their living pattern, in their habitat, in their surroundings, and all that. And it came out that there were two three things which we looked at. One is the beverage of the beverage sugar consumption. Why they are not buying a, a normal refrigerator, existing range of refrigerator which are available in the market today. Second, we tried to understand their needs. What are the needs they have? And third is, do they really have an aspiration to buy a PG solution which serves their purpose? Learning cost was another issue. Okay, so, isn't this just a cooler? A little bit different. What is the most expensive part of a refrigerator? Compressor. The compressor is the most expensive part. Do we really need a compressor? This has no compressor. It, it's cooled by a solid state. It is the same way you cool your computer. It's good enough for vegetables. Cheap, lightweight, and powered by a 12-volt battery if there is no electricity. They didn't get there by waiting for innovation to come. This wasn't an idea that someone had while they were in the shower or stuck in traffic. This came because they investigated what the customer wants. That's why we start with the customer and we think of how to reach them. They were actually also innovative in how to access the customer. How would you access people in rural Indias where there aren't the, the infrastructure to get to them? There aren't the warehouses, there aren't the big box stores. They actually used the Indian postal system to get to them because everywhere in India, no matter where you are, you still get your mail. So they had a partnership with that. So they innovated not just in the product by understanding the customer needs, the non-users as he said, they also looked at how do I make sure they get it? How do I make sure they understand it? They even partnered with uh, financing institutions for some people who are selling this, the cold, uh, the cold drinks, you know, the stalls and the roads. They actually would put the Godridge, uh, the Choto Cool, on the storefront and they would sell the water for a little more, the cold water for a little extra. Uh, there were financing opportunities with partner organizations to help people get that so that they could improve their income. So this is what we mean when we say investigate the customer, look into what he needs and how to get it. Just an example. We all went through it together. Okay. So Godrich focused on this part to innovate something that we actually sell, which is ironically sounds rational, right? So the concept here is the job to be done. So what is the customer trying to do? Like in the case of Godrej, what were the Indians trying to do? They were trying to have fresh food daily, but keep it cool enough. If I, like if I bought extra food today, I want it cool enough to survive to tomorrow. So there, this is another case. So I have a drill. What is the job to be done for me as someone who's using a drill? What do I want to do? What do I want to achieve? Make a hole. Why do I want a hole in the wall? Why would I want it? 
Exactly. So I want to hang something on the wall, right? And this is why, what I care about. So I don't care about the hole. I don't want it to look perfect. I don't care how circle, perfectly circle it is. But I want my painting or my drawing or whatever to be hanged on the wall. And that's the job to be done. Keeping that in mind will help us design and create something that will help the customer just reach the end job. So there is a very interesting case in Dubai. This is a restaurant, Rick Tomato. Anyone here like pizza? Everyone likes pizza? 